Um, Jesse, rising star over the weekend, how does that feel for you? Yeah, it's a pretty cool feeling. Um, got the call up yesterday from Bree and Craig and um, Bree said I was on loudspeaker and I, I thought I was going to get dropped. Nah, nah. <laughs> I thought there would be some good news and yeah, they told me I was a rising star so yeah, I was pretty happy about that. Talk us uh, the transition from last season to this season now that there's a few more teams in the league. Um, what does this mean for the growth of the game? Yeah, it's really important. I think um, for a Brisbane team that kind of hurt us a little bit, but we just gained so many um, players in the draft, so we kind of um, needed that in a way. But for the competition itself, we're, we're so happy to see it grow and continue to get bigger. And there's already um, bigger crowds and uh, audiences and stuff. So yeah, that's really awesome. We Queenslanders love versing another st uh, another team from our state. What does Saturday's game mean for you versing our rivals who are, I guess, just next door? Yeah, it's it's awesome. I think when you know the people in the other team personally, it, it kind of, you know, you have a bit more of a spa. But ever since the draws come out, we've just been looking forward to this game um, so close to home, you know, just an hour down the road. And uh, I, I think we've should be able to get a big crowd too and um, yeah it's a really important game for our club because it is yeah Queensland rivalry. Did it hurt you guys losing seven players to the Suns and I guess how um, has the team been shaken up if you will um, for the 2020 season? Yeah I, I personally don't think like it made too much of an effect. I, I rate all those players that left but we just gained so many more and they're, they're young players but they've still got so much talent to give and I feel like you know we've kind of grown as a team and um, yeah we've, we've already had such a big pre-season together and we've come together to build that team and that family so um, I think in the end like we've you know we've won out of this yeah. You've had a great start yourself to the season, but so has the side. How do you go into Saturday's game pretty confident? Um, I like to go into games confident, not underestimating the other team, but that's just the mentality I like to have. But um, they, they, they are a really good team. I know they're a physical team, but as long as we bring the pressure, I think we'll be able to stop them. Yeah. And finally, talk us through um, how you've seen the crowds develop. This is your second season. How has the support for AFLW grown as well? Yeah, you see it everywhere. You see it over social media or um, just people that you didn't think that you thought didn't know anything about AFLW are now talking about it and they're really interested in it. So it makes it really cool for us as players because people are starting to know the game that you invest so much time into. So yeah, it's really awesome to see the competition grow. You've really focused on that forward position this year after playing a bit of ruck last year. What did you work on in the off season to cement that role in the forward line? Yeah, I think uh, this year I've, I've got a bit of a more um, important role down in the forward line, being that key target. Um, so really just, you know, being that presence, creating a contest. And I've been working on my goal kicking and um, just the one percenters. And I feel like, um, you know, all the team, our team just sticking to the game plan and playing their role. And then, yeah, it's working out. You were speaking of family before, you've got a very special visitor this weekend at the, at the Q Clash on the Gold Coast. Yeah, my grandma's coming from New Zealand um, to come watch the next couple of games. It's really important to me because she hasn't come to one of my games live before. And um, yeah, it's a it's pretty, pretty awesome feeling that she's going to be in the crowd to support me. Yeah. And with all your extended family in New Zealand, what do they think of Aussie rules? Uh, they're still working it out, but they're all watching back home and um, they're, you know, they're really supportive of me. And um, I think they're slowly getting to know the rules. Um, but even my mum, she's been following footy since I've been playing and she's still a bit confused. But um, yeah, they'll get there. <laughs>